What is going on guys, my name is Avenster and welcome back to our Gary's Mod Tool tutorial series. In this one we're going to be looking at the winch tool, which is the last one in the constraints tab. Um, this one is very simple again. So basically you've got a few options here, you've got make longer and make shorter, which you can set these to whatever you want. I'm going to set them to numpad 7 and numpad 9. You've got your longer speed, so how fast the rope gets longer, and your shorter speed, how fast it gets shorter. I'm going to put these both on the same. I'm going to keep them lowish because I don't want it to be too crazy. So I'm going to put them both on 40, just so it's it's not too crazy and I can have control over it. We've got this one that we've seen before, which is the width. So it's just whatever width the rope you want. We'll put it on about three. The most effective way I've found to use this tool is by making a little door for your base or something, which is what I'm going to quickly do now, and I will be right back. Okay guys, here we go. I've made a very quick front, so we've got two solid panels, which would be the wall and then the door here. And you can clearly see the two red stripes, which are our winches. So we've still got the same 7 and 9, same speeds and everything, I've just linked them up. So what I, what happens is when I press 9, is it brings our door up, closes it, like that. Because like if we were inside, this would be it closed. And then when we press 7, it will... I mean, sometimes you have to give it a knock because it can get a bit stuck like that. If it does, then just give it a push with your, your character and it'll move. And so 7 and 9 moving up and down will open and close your door. A bit like a castle sort of drawbridge type door. But again, you could use it with your axes on the floor and one here so it opens sideways like a normal door. And that's the most effective use for it. You can use it for things like lifts and things such like that but I much prefer the hydraulics for lifts because they're a lot more stable and they don't move around as much but that is the winch tool and that concludes the constraints so next time we'll have a look at these which are the construction tools and these are much like simpler but I'll explain them all to you again we're going to go through everything even if it's just a 30 second video we're going to go through it anyway so we'll be in the constructions one next time so thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video for the balloon tool